Hey guys and welcome to another video. Now this video is going to be a little bit different because usually I show you guys my tarantulas, I show you guys my snakes, I show you guys my scorpions, I show you guys all the live animals, right? But today I'm going to be showing you some dead animals. And what I mean by dead animals is that the ones that I preserved. Some of these were my pets that passed away and some of these were just random animals I found dead and I just decided to preserve them for educational purposes and just for display. And don't go to me saying it's this respectful because I'm just keeping them and showing people how these animals look like up close especially one animal which I'm gonna be showing you in a bit because I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys would not dare go near that animal so the first animal I'm gonna be showing you is in this jar over here. This is a ball python. This was actually my first ball python and it wasn't my fault that it died. Well, technically it was still my fault because I bought this from a pet shop. Yeah, you know, everyone says don't buy reptiles or yeah, pretty much reptiles mainly. Don't buy them from pet shops. I bought this for about $50 and then it just died because look at how malnourished it is. It's super thin. Now ball pythons, as you can see, Penelope over here they should be girthy they should be thick even the babies like Alvera look at her she is girthy ball pythons generally they are supposed to be girthy and rounded animals but look at this one this one's like super thin and you can even see its spines protruding up that is how to tell that these guys are malnourished and it's also my fault like I said but it's not my fault that the snake died it's my fault that I bought the snake from a pet shop when it was still alive its name was Saber and I believe it's a male I'm not quite sure I didn't really sex it, but yeah, there is my first animal that I preserved. This one I bought in 2015, I believe. Yeah, in 2000 and wait, I think, wait, no, it was December 2014. Yeah, I bought this snake in 2014 and I've been preserving it and it's been doing really well ever since. So yeah, moving on to the next animal. Oh yeah, before moving on to the next animal, I actually did post a post on the community section of my YouTube channel. I asked you guys if you would like to see me do a video on these preserved specimens and a a lot of you guys actually said yes. I'm sorry for the ones who said no, but I'm just gonna do this because the majority really wanted to see. So yeah, the next animal will be this vinegroon. Yes, a lot of you guys have been asking how has my vinegroon been doing, but I did mention that it passed away. Probably the comment is missing right now, I don't know. But I did mention, some of you guys know that I mentioned and told you guys. But yeah, my vinegroon over here, yes, it passed away because after a few weeks, it died. Yeah, it died. Then I called up the pet store. Yes, I bought it from a pet store as well. And I asked them if this was wild caught and they were like, yes, it's wild caught. Now, a lot of wild caught things will not eat in captivity. So that's why it died. Now, another reason why I keep all these animals is because they have, they actually have a story behind them. So this one over here, this is a leopard gecko. Now, this is not my pet. I do have leopard geckos of my own and they are healthy. Okay, look at Zeus over here. Look at his tail. He is one healthy guy. And then I have Hera. She is super healthy as well. And then this one. I mean, look at the side of the tail. It's super thin. Now, how did I get this leopard gecko? I went to the pet shop. Yes, I went to the pet shop again. Now, you see, the first three animals are pet shops, but I didn't buy this. I went to the pet shop and I was looking at all their animals and I saw a dead gecko. A dead gecko, which they didn't even know died. So I went straight to the guy that's working there. I called him. I mean, not, not a phone. Why am I even doing this? <laughs> I called him and he came over and saw the gecko and he wanted to clean it up. So I asked him, hey, can I get the gecko from you? And he was like, what for? I told him, I wanted to preserve it, so he just gave it to me for free. So that's the story behind this guy. Went to a pet shop, saw a dead animal which they didn't even know died, and I took it back and preserved it. You guys know this specimen over here. Yes, the alcohol is a little bit yellow. I'm gonna have to change that. Now, these wet specimens, it's a good idea to change the alcohol first five months or the first three months. I mean, at least until it stops turning yellow. I've only changed this alcohol twice. That's why it's still yellow. I'm gonna have to change it later. Go buy some more alcohol. But this guy, you know him. He's my mature male sea darling. Lingy, the one that passed away, yeah, the tarantula on his deathbed, that video. If you haven't watched it, go check it out. So I don't want to spend too much time on this guy because you already know. And for those who don't know, you can watch the video. Next, this one. This is, oh, this alcohol is so dirty. This cockroach, I found it in my house. Yeah, it doesn't really have a story behind it, but I just thought it looked cool because it was like full jet black. And it was the first time I've seen a cockroach like this just lying around in my house. You've watched the video on this one. I replaced the alcohol and yeah the alcohol is still pretty clean now this was
house, my first centipede. If you haven't watched it, link in the description. The video was about me rehousing this guy. It was my cherry red centipede, the biggest centipede I've ever owned. If you guys haven't watched it, I will link both the links in the description. The first video I've ever done on this channel, as well as the video where I replaced this alcohol. So yeah, feel free to go check those out. Now over here is another leopard gecko which I found in the pet store as well. Yes, another dead gecko which they didn't know. So same story, I called the guy up and I asked them, well, both are different days. This one and the other one, both were found different days and yes, both were from the same pet store. So I called the guy and I asked him again, can I have it? And he was like, yeah, sure. All right, six more. So over here is a just a random huntsman spider, nothing too exciting about that. And then over here, now this is is a tiny tiny leopard gecko and if you're wondering if this is from the same pet store no it wasn't this was actually a breeding project that I was doing yes I used to breed leopard geckos a while back and this was one of the babies that actually died inside the egg it was taking a really long time to hatch out so I smelled the egg I lifted the egg up and I smelt it and the smell was so bad so I cut the egg open and true enough there was a dead baby gecko super cute but unfortunate it happens when you're breeding stuff this is just a random centipede this species doesn't grow very big these things are found literally everywhere in my house if let's say you flood the place they all come out and then they don't live very long so you can find them dead every now and then all right next okay i'm gonna move quickly because this video is already pretty long so this is a frog now over here they sell feeder frogs you go to the pet shop they sell feeder frogs for you to feed snakes for you to feed fish for you to feed whatever so i saw a frog with only one leg over there look the leg was not broken off it was born with one leg how cool is that so i asked the guy yes it was alive i asked the guy if i could keep it i brought it back and it lived with me for like three months and then it just decided not to eat and then it died it ate no problem but i think having one leg did affect its health I don't know how so yeah this guy eventually he did not live and he passed away two more this was the animal that I was mentioning earlier in this video that you will definitely not go anywhere close to and would appreciate seeing it up close so this is an American cockroach this is one of the things that I'm super terrified of I mean I literally will stay at least 20 feet away from one if I see one in the in the house like at the side there I will literally stay away from it and I'll call Call my parents to come and kill it these guys are pets literally every day you could see at least three or four running around my house yeah that is not fun at all so one day I decided to kill one yeah I killed one I'm proud of myself for killing a pest roach which I usually would stay 20 feet away from and then after I killed it I decided to put it in a jar because I wanted to look at it up close because you know I would stay 20 feet away from it so I want to see what it looks like up close and well it looks pretty hideous to me but no regrets though for anyone who comes to my house and want to see what a cockroach looks like i mean who would do something like this but if they want to see i can show them because almost all of my friends are afraid of these cockroaches i know i keep dubia roaches but these things are different okay last one so this it's a cricket. Yes, look at the size of that. This is a scary as heck to looking cricket. Now this cricket is like, I don't know, four inches. If the back legs are stretched out, it's probably six inches. And this is a normal cricket. It's just a normal feeder cricket that I use to feed my tarantulas. So one day I kept my bucket of crickets at a corner and so happened one escaped and disappeared into my house. So I don't know what it's been eating. One day it decided to come out and my dad caught it and he showed it to me. I was like, holy hell this would make good tarantula food but then i decided that i would keep it as a pet so i kept it for about a week and then it, it died because you know crickets don't live very long in captivity but i mean look at this it's freaking huge man that is hideous like i've mentioned before countless amount of times that i'm terrified of crickets when i saw one this size i was like oh gosh man get that thing away but then i decided to keep it and then when it died i decided to preserve it because just like the reason for this cockroach anyone who comes like literally everyone who saw this specimen were like holy hell man where on earth did you get that is that even real yes this is real that is a flipping cricket oh Oh my gosh if this thing bites you man you're gonna be in for a lot of pain so yeah this thing was scary super scary but it's gonna be living in here i mean it's not living but it's gonna be preserved in here for a very very long time i'm pretty sure you find this very fascinating as well don't you I mean, if you don't, then too bad. <laughs> so that will be it for this video, guys. If you liked it, thumbs it up. I mean, like I said, I did post a poll on my community section and a lot of people, like literally 90 over percent said yes. So 
there's your video. So yeah, if you enjoyed it, thumbs it up. If you didn't, thumbs it down. If you're new to this channel, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll know when we upload again in the future. If you'd like to support through Patreon, link in the description together with the social media link. So feel free to go check those out. And also, if you haven't joined our Facebook group, Exotics Lounge, there's a link in the description as well. So feel free to go join. No bashing in the group. If you want to bash, go join other Tarantula Facebook groups because those are famous for bashing. And if you bash in my group, you're going to be banned straight away. And I mean that. No bashing the group. It's just for fun. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace.